Logic Monitor's out-of-the-box logic modules act as monitoring templates that enable automated data collection and alerting. These templates include domain-specific best practices that control what data is monitored for specific technologies and where default alert thresholds should be set to meaningfully trigger alerts out of the box. These alert thresholds are set for typical production environments and can be customized. However, customizing thresholds for a large environment can be cumbersome. That's where dynamic thresholds come in. With Logic Monitor's dynamic thresholds, anomaly detection is used to calculate an expected range for the signal based on its historical performance. For example, this container has a relatively high memory usage. You can see from the past 24 hours that this is pretty normal. But you can also see that the default alert thresholds are going to result in a lot of noise for this container, specifically at the warning threshold. With dynamic thresholds, evaluated alerts will be compared against this expected range. If the value corresponding to the alert is within the range, we will suppress the alert, meaning it will still display in Logic Monitor, but you won't be notified and the alert won't be routed. We can head over to Logic Monitor's new alerts page to see what this looks like. So you can see that this memory usage alert corresponds to an alert that was suppressed by dynamic thresholds. The memory usage exceeded the threshold but was still within that expected range calculated by anomaly detection. With dynamic thresholds, you can ensure that the most important information is being surfaced and routed to your team, and that you're really focusing on what you need to be focusing to move your business forwards. Logic Monitor, turning sight into vision.